Hello, I'm Colin Harris from Nowhere, continuing the series on hooking up SAS and Excel. This is in fact the last technique we're going to be talking about in this series. As you can see here, there's uh, 11 different techniques that the series has covered. So all the previous ones, you need to go and find uh, the appropriate video. We're talking about the last one, the 11th one here, which is using DDE or Dynamic Data Exchange. What does Dynamic Data Exchange allow you to do? Uh, very powerful technique and allows someone not only from SAS but from any programming language to remotely control the Excel environment. Very good at doing that. Basically you can send all sorts of commands to Excel to rename worksheets, to create a pivot table, to change fonts, change colors. So very, very powerful but it's also outdated and most recommendations are not to use this anymore and so I'm talking about what it is in case you come across DDE and I'd recommend that you change from DDE to one of the other techniques but it's certainly worth knowing what this is about. DDE needs SAS and Excel to be on the same computer which is getting less and less usual these days. There's more client server use of SAS with Enterprise Guide on the desktop and the SAS environment on a server somewhere. What type of technique this is, this is a SAS push technique, so control is from within the SAS environment, SAS is pushing out the DDE statements to control Excel. What's it good for? Really good for compl creating complex and nicely formatted spreadsheets because you can control that SAS environment, sorry, control the Excel environment in any way you wish. Good for automation as well, if you want to create one spreadsheet or we'll create a thousand spreadsheets, you can put the logic in, create a macro loop and just uh, have that logic go off and create as many spreadsheets as you want in a very straightforward way. So some notes on DDE. DDE has been around for a long time, it's over 20 years old now and it's considered dated by, by all commentators really. It's not suitable for a server environment because you need the SAS sessions to be run in batch on a, on a server environment, you're not interactively dealing with SAS sessions on a server environment and therefore the server is deemed as unattended. And of course Excel needs to be interactive, it may come back with a prompt, may come back with something else and if it's running in a SAS batch environment on a server it just is not recommended to be done in that way. DD also it has got poor error reporting, poor debugging, so the advantages of DDE, very good for formatting, very good for control, very good for automation, so a lot of good pros, a lot of good pluses there. But on the downside, if you're not using it now, if people are using it and it, they may continue to use it, that's fine, but certainly would not recommend doing any new development in DDE because of all the, uh, all the, uh, the negative side of that and you should be using a more modern technique. So it's dated. It doesn't work appropriately for a server model, which uh, most SAS environments are these days, and you need a lot of additional understanding. You need to understand DDE itself, and you need VBA knowledge to be able to control DDE. So what do you actually need to use this technique? It is just base SAS, so that's another advantage. You don't need these those additional products to be licensed. Not for a server environment. You need to have the X command, because if you don't know the X command, the X command allows you to X out to the operating system and run operating system commands. And typically in your client server environment, particularly if you have Enterprise Guide on your desktop, SAS on your server, by default for security reasons the X command is turned off. You need DDE knowledge and you need VBA knowledge. And I liked one of the comments I saw when I was doing a bit of research on this. It says, for the adventurous programmer. And that is because it is complicated to, to learn, complicated to use, and poor error handling and poor debugging. So it's quite a, an adventure, quite a challenge to go through and do this. So I'll end on the saying, as said earlier, recommend you don't use this technique, but it's included in the series for completeness so you understand if you come across DDE being used uh, in your environment. Thanks for watching this video, which is part of a series on hooking up SAS in Excel. The full PowerPoint presentation is available at nowhere.co.nz, which includes references to good papers that provide more details.